Okay. Well, hi right, Steve, here we go. Hello. Once again, yeah. Mr. Heritage. Absolutely. Still a bit chilly, but not as cold as last time. Yeah. No hat this time. <laughs> um, so, well, look, this is where it all began, mate. It is. Absolutely. Bertie. Bertie, your little baby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 1963. Same as you, old chap. <laughs> um, 58 years old, believe it or not. Um, yes, so this is Steve's car, and um, this is our very first electric conversion. We started working on this about three years ago. As we started, we realised that the condition of it wasn't quite what we thought it was, so we decided to have it shop blasted. Uh, every part that we needed to make, we made, and then had it resprayed in this beautiful anthracite grey, uh, original 1963 colour, and um, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, come and have a walk around. Yeah, yeah okay, so. Yeah. Would you chat you through our birch? So, uh, one of the first challenges with an old Beetle is there is no filler cap uh, on the exterior of the car. So, we added the charge point underneath the back number plate. So, you can see type 2 charge point. There you go. In the back, um, we have a Hyper 9. Uh, this one is running at 144 volts. Uh, in order so that we can get more batteries in for a bit more range. Uh, it has about 80 kilowatts of power and 235 newton meters of torque, which makes it accelerate pretty quickly. Uh, Bertie does 0 to 60 in about seven and a half seconds. Gearbox is the original gearbox. Well, we re removed first, second, and reverse gear, so it's only actually got third and fourth, but in third gear, as Steve says, it accelerates to 60 in around about seven and a half seconds which is quicker than Mark 1 Lotus Cortina by a considerable margin, which is pretty quick for an old beetle, I think you'd say. Yep, and when we were inside the gearbox, we changed the ratio so that in fourth, it does 100 miles an hour. It does 100 miles an hour, I can testify that. I have done 100 miles an hour in a car, frightened the life out of me, but it was on private road, I will add, <laughs> but it, it will do 100 miles an hour. Yeah. I've got the video to prove it. <laughs> so, we'll so, walk around. Um, now, batteries. Three on the rear parcel shelf. Um, just hidden between the engine and the back seat, and then we have the four there. in the front. Four batteries in that box there, um, and we've also managed to retain the, the spare wheel. Yeah, so if you come around here, you'll see that inside the dashboard is all original. And the only just changes we've made to the dash is that we have repurposed the fuel gauge. The fuel gauge now shows the safety charge of the batteries so that uh, you have all original instrumentation. So, as I said, there's no reverse gear. Uh, so reverse gear is now on a switch, which we've added in the inside here. So it's forward, basically for forward, put it back, and it goes backwards, simple as that. It's a nice, easy, easy system. And we've used the original um, switch, so it looks standard as well. Um, Probably yeah. the last thing to say about Percy is, you know, what's it like? driving Bertie, now that Bertie is electric. Well, as I've said to many people at many shows, you know, Bertie was my old car, and when it had its old petrol engine, which is a nice engine, uh, the trouble with it, it was just too slow to use in modern traffic. Too slow to pull out of T-junctions, uh, scary going down slip roads uh, onto the ring road because you can't, you're, you're behind the, the, the modern traffic, you get stuck between trucks. Now, Bertie just zips around, and, and, and Bertie's a joy to drive and, and that's really the point so what we're trying to do with all our conversions is bring out the innate character of the vehicle and uh he's just lovely brings a smile to your face every time you get behind the wheel so, so. are we going to go for a drive steve yeah why not go on, let's go okay jump in i'll show you how it's driven